whole web thing. I'm not used to this whole technology stuff. <laughs> That's me eating a burrito. I'm really into burritos. How's everybody doing? Yeah. That was really horrible. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Woo, yeah, 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 midterms. Woo. Uh, why did you guys come here tonight? Like, why did you take time out of, like, Grey's Anatomy? Is that tonight? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, I know, I know. The whole day. So, you guys, you're spending your time here with us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming out. Why are you here? Yes? I just didn't take a business. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure to be rude, but like, what, what do you guys want to get out of this? Because I don't want to just flap, because I'll do it for an hour. Who's there? Yeah, Sean, you know what I'm going to do it for four hours. Yeah, 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 this guy's going to keep you busy. Uh, in the back in the red shirt, why are you here? Did they make you? Pretty much. Okay, fine. Next person, someone. Like, what do you want me to talk about? Like, what are you guys here to learn? What do you, in the, in the vest? Uh, well, like, for me, I'm interested in both Perfect. Perfect. So one more person. Kirk, come on. CSBA? Talk about Facebook, man. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Facebook, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll talk dirty. Me and Marky. Uh, okay, so how many people are freshmen? I want to get a little demographic study going on. Represent, what, what, 2030? What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, 2010. Okay, sophomores? The O is silent. Uh, juniors? Juniors? Seniors? Seriously, what are you doing here? <laughs> Get jobs. <laughs> hiring, hiring. Could She's use hiring already. We could use some hiring. We could. Okay, so what I'll talk. Okay, so I kind of got an idea. Um, I'll talk about me. Stop me and ask questions. Interrupt me. Call me names. Whatever you want to do. It's fine. Um, so at Berkeley, I was like, I'm going to be a CS major and I'm going to go to Haas. And then I'm going to go program, start this empire of greed and money and, and take over. Yes, yes, greed. And, um, and then I, I wasn't smart enough. I was like, I'm not smart enough for this. But then I realized I could do uh, econ and business and then people think that's impressive for some reason. And then I could manage the engineers who are going to be coding. And it worked out well. It's worked out well so far. Um, so I got a so story interesting to Trevor. I did apply at Google, uh, 2003, pre-IPO. And uh, seven months later, and uh, ten rounds, uh, no, seven rounds, something like that, pretty ridiculous, I went back, I had a verbal offer. So I'm like, dude, cha-ching, cha-ching, I'm done. I'm, I'm in the money, me and Sergey are going to hang out, we'll be bowling, uh, game on. And then, uh, and then they rescinded it, which means uh, F you know. And so mom was crushed, grandma's like, I don't know what Google is, but I, I'm sorry. And uh, so that sucked big time. And then... I was like, shit, what am I going to do? I like tech. I like, can I swear? Is that cool here? Are we allowed to do that at Berkeley now? Okay. Um, so I was like, what am I going to do? And I got a job offer at Bank of America, which sucks. Wells Fargo, which sucks. And then Intel was the sucky list of it. Sucky list? It was the lowest of the suck. Um, Sorry, don't focus on Intel. This is going to be on YouTube. <laughs> so, um, and then how that came out was kind of like, I wanted to, um, it was like, Basically, I saw a job offer on Swede at the Society of Women Engineers at Berkeley, and it was like a women's job, and I was like, I'm in. Uh, so I applied at Intel, and they were like, come in and interview. And I went and interviewed at Intel, and everything was great. No life, no, ha everyone's like depressed, very, like you ladies, you're very serious. Like, we're not depressed, but they're nervous, right? So they're just like, everyone at Intel's like, oh my god, my life sucks. I have, I'm, but I get, you know, I get to get off at five. And I interviewed with them, and I, and I was talking with one guy, and he said, where do you see yourself in five years? And I said, point blank, not here. <laughs> I was like, I will not be at Intel. He's like, me neither. <laughs> he's like, I'm not coming to Intel. He's like, he's like, what do you want to do? He's like, I was like, I want to be an entrepreneur. I don't know what that means. I don't know, like, people, you go and you make things, and fucking people buy it. Right? Does, the, does like, swear words make you laugh? Penis? <laughs> Really? Okay, I'll do that. I'll throw it in once, when you're falling asleep. I saw someone sleeping. Cool, you were, you're dozing. So, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm not a good fit, but if you want to hire me, I'll kick some ass. And um, they hired me. And they're gonna like, we'll give you like, you know, 50k plus stock. You can, you know, it's close to my house. I'm from the Bay Area, San Jose. Represent any Fort Wake. And then I took it, right? And it was horrible. It was like the worst year in three months of my life, right? So, some funny stories. I used to sleep in my cubicle. I literally brought a sleeping bag, and I would set up, uh, my cubicle was like a box, and, I would, and then my desk is here, and so I would sleep here, and I would like block off the door, and then, you know, people would peep in, they wouldn't see me, and I would just sleep for hours. Because like, I would literally get all my work done in 30 minutes, and then I'd go to my boss, and I'd walk out, 
And I say hi, Becky, and Becky's like, <laughs> so Becky's like, uh, no, you're good, you're kicking ass, uh, you're managing Excel, which was very exciting. Uh, and so if you have Excel questions, you email me, and I'll take care of it. So then Intel was sucking, right? And basically, I'm playing around all day. I'm taking two-hour lunches. My boss comes to me at 5 p.m. and says, "You're Noah. Am I working you too hard? You need to go home." I'm like, "It's working 5 p.m. I start at 5." Uh, so it was it was a waste of time. And so pretty much, I was gonna say January, I'm done. I'm gonna go be an entrepreneur, and I'll be on you know Forbes and Rich and some other things. And I was like. I don't want to work for anybody else. I'm done with this, right? You take orders, you have no meaning, you have no excitement, you don't look forward to work in the morning. Pretty much you go, you get a paycheck, and you leave, right? That's what my ex girlfriend's doing now. She's a programmer at Intel. I really like her, she's nice, hi, Jen. And, uh, but I mean, she's just there. You're not getting, you, like, your life is kind of, no offense, but pointless, right? You're literally like a cog in a wheel. Like, you're just, you're not, like, you die, and what do you get out of it? Okay, that was like the motivational part. Oh. So that was awesome, three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. Because you're not getting anything out of your life. Like, like, seriously, Steve Jobs said it, and I really believe it. If you died today, how would you feel about your life? And I was like, damn, that's powerful. So think about that. He's like, Steve Jobs says, he looks in the mirror every morning and says, if I died today, am I happy? Right? And I was like, wow, that's kind of interesting. So, you know, everybody, who's on Facebook here? Who's not on Facebook? Oh, shit. Uh, Facebook? Just go home. Oh, you're <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, no. My friend, this girl in Argentina, she was like, oh no, a Facebook. I'm like, holy shit, it's, well, it's huge. Uh, so I sent in my resume, I'm really, I'm interested in this stuff. This is my passion, I'm excited about technology. Um, I'm excited about what it can do, I always have been. When I see like something that Google comes out with, or any new site, and uh, I'm just like, wow, it can change people's lives. And it makes things so much easier, and it makes things faster. And I can go do the things I really want to do. Okay. Um, so I always wrote about it online, right? So this is my website, check it out, okdork.com, little plug right there. Okay. And um, I was like, you know, Facebook's cool, all this stuff is cool, I can, and then, so I sent in my resume, whatever, I didn't care. I was gonna quit in January, and this was October, or one of those months nearby. And I, uh, you know, they called me back. I was like, yeah, what's up, what do you wanna do? And they're like, come in and hang out with us. I was like, all right. So when I was in Berkeley, I started uh, HFG Consulting, and I started uh, Ninja Card. Evan was actually a big part of it. So I started things, right? And I did consulting for the college market. HFG Consulting, we worked with Dell, we worked with local stores. It was something that I was just thinking that, I'm bored, there's other bored people, let's all hang out and help companies. So HFG was cool, and then we started the Ninja Card. I think you guys are a little too young for it, but we did pretty well. We grossed like 50,000 in one year, um, for like 4,000, 5,000 cards. We expanded to seven campuses, it was okay. Um, so I get the college market, I'm excited about it. And uh, Facebook talked to me, and we wanted to hang out, hung out, and uh, they liked me, and they're like, come on. So I was pumped, right? I'm like, the coolest company. Basically, I get to look at chicks' pictures all day. How sweet is that? You know what I'm saying, right? Um, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, we can look at everyone's profiles, sweet, and we can see who looks at our profiles. So I mean, it's like a deal job for anybody our age. Um, so I go there, and my first day, I'm sitting, I'm basically, I've never even met Mark Zuckerberg, the, infam, the, the notorious, famous boy wonder, and I'm sitting at the desk, and basically, my boss, who interviewed me and brought me in, walks out, and I said to somebody, well, where'd my boss go? They're like, oh, he fired, he got fired today. <laughs> so day one, my boss was fired, and I was like, oh, that's kind of different, okay, and they're like, here's a laptop, go do something. Um, so you could say it was unstructured, I was number 30. So... Facebook was Facebook. Uh, I created a lot of things there. It was very disorganized. A lot of fun people, a lot of drinking, a lot of partying, um, a lot of girls' pictures, frankly. Uh, and it was a good experience for me. I learned a lot about creating web projects. I'm really excited about creating websites. So Facebook, how many people have used Facebook search? Search for those people. Okay, I created Facebook search. I created Facebook mobile, Facebook flyers, friend details, friend timeline. You guys seen that stuff? Okay, I created that with engineers, I'm not the smart one. They do the work, I just come up with like kind of the overall idea. And I work with them through the process. And then you guys talk shit, you're like, oh this sucks, why can't I do this? <laughs> <laughs> um, so Facebook was cool, and then it got to like a few hundred people, and now there's 30 person meetings, and we're all trying to discuss, and there's like a dumb shit over here, and they're saying something, and I'm like, it's annoying. You know, I've just, I want something efficient, I want small, I want fast. Uh, so I kind of, we, we, we broke up, you know, when you're in a group and you're like, hey, we're going to, you do that, I'll do that, right? And so I was like, man, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Um, so it's interesting, because I have this, like, website, okdork.com, 
uh, people started contacting me. So for some reason they assumed I knew things. So people would start coming to me and say, hey, we'd love for you to come consult for us on product management. Product management means you help build it, you know, Facebook flyers from start to finish. How's it going to look? How's it going to function? How's the payment processing going to happen? Feedback, FAQ, everything. Um, and so I did that for a few months. I went and taught business in Korea uh, at like an elite camp. I don't know why they brought me. They taught that they learned a lot of swear words. And, uh, <laughs> they're like, wow, they're nice swear words in Korea. I know. Um, so that was that. While this whole time was going on, I started a group called Entrepreneur 27. Am I going too long? Is this boring? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Yeah, do it. No, I was a part of it when it was in the beginning. I think they implemented it a little bit wrong, but uh, I was there from like inception and how it's going to work and things like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, like, how strong was your tech back? I mean, you said like you weren't that engineering, but like, I mean, how do yeah, you that's a good, great. If you're not, that's an awesome question. Like, I mean, I did programming at Berkeley for two years, so I was an intended CS major. Did it two years here. I did two years at De uh, a year at De Anza prior to Berkeley. <laughs> Uh, so I mean, <laughs> so I and I know coding. So like on a lot of the new stuff I'm working on, I, I can code. Okay. Um, do you? I think you need to be at, at least an understanding level. So when you talk to engineers, like this is what you're going to be doing, you need to be on their level. Right. Like if, if you like if you're recursion, you know what recursion is. You need to know like the way to optimize the code to some extent. If you don't, go learn. All right. I, mean, I, I can go ahead and start now. But no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're okay. You're okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't hear. Sorry. My position is that, um, like, I'm starting to get into tech, but I haven't had that much prior experience. Like, is it too late? No, too never, late? never. Do it now. Okay. Go home tonight after like you Facebook me or whatever. <laughs> so I mean, the thing is, is, like, it's about what you're interested in. I'm interested in the way things work. Sometimes I'm not an engineer where I need to know the nitty gritty, but I want to know the overall idea so I can t discuss it with people. So go look at other websites that do really interesting code. Look at their, their page source, or try to do a few things yourself. Just get a basic understanding, I think, is critical. If you want to be a product manager and you want to be in both realms of business and tech. You guys doing okay in the back? Awake? Good. So during this time at Intel, I was really bored, and I started Entrepreneur 27. And I was like, I'm living at home with my mom. I still am, but I just got evicted, so I have to leave soon. And uh, I was like, I want to meet new people, so I set up a group. I did something about it. And so what I started doing is bring together young entrepreneurs. And this is in my spare time, it's a hobby. Um, and last weekend, I put on a conference, two weeks ago. And this was in my spare time, I just kind of wanted to do it. And this conference was it, a lot bigger than I realized. It was, uh, we grossed 85,000. We had uh, almost 400 people come out. The blog and online, it was in Wired, ZDNet, uh, a lot of popular sites. Everyone had a good time. And so it was something that I was just interested in doing. I made the decision to do it, I moved forward with it. And uh, so that's kind of one of the things I've been doing in my spare time. Uh, and during this spare time, I, uh, I came across uh, a guy from my mate. And uh, I talked to a lot of stars. People email me, Noah, how should we do this web design? How should we market this? Because I get marketing somehow. People believe me. I've tricked them. That's fine. Um, but. I saw Mint and I was like, oh, whoa, this is intense. It's not like another Facebook, it's not a MySpace, it's nothing like that. Um, what Mint is, is that like, it's for people who are lazy and don't want to do anything with their money, right? So it's not necessarily for college students because you guys really just don't care. You're like, do I have enough for blondies? Yeah, I'm good. Top dog, sweet, done, okay? Uh, you know, what's the super DC called now? What do you guys call it? Crossroads. Crossroads, oh yeah, bone thugs. So, the, uh, so Mint, what was interesting about it is it's a free online Quicken. How many people know what Quicken is? Quicken's like what your parents do because they're rich and shit, and like it just helps them see how much money they have, and like if they can afford your college. That's pretty much what it does. So, what we're able to do is it's an effortless website that analyzes your money. So basically, you enter in your credit card and bank account, and we show you really sexy graphs of like how much did you spend at Starbucks this month. How much did you spend in gas over these two weeks? Uh, how much are you spending on entertainment, fast food, anything? We, can, we have a patent on categorization of your spending. So we can show you really cool ways of like how much you're doing certain things. And that's kind of, uh, whatevs, whatevs, it's cool. Um, the really interesting thing is we can actually make intelligent suggestions about how to improve your life. So we know that you spend, um, you're using this cell phone and you're, you're overspending. So we can give you a discount on another cell phone, on T-Mobile versus Singular. Or if you go to Starbucks all the time, we can show you a relevant ad and, uh, on, uh, on Pete's Coffee. Or if you have a credit card, we can show you what's the best credit card for you based on your finances. 
And it's like, so it's for people who are like, dude, I don't care. It's like, oh, this is for you then. Because you don't have to do anything. You have one click and you're done. And you automatically improve your life. And to me, going back to kind of what I started in the beginning, this is a lot of meaning for me. It's a lot of, like, I'm excited because it'll really help people. How many people want to be accountants? Thank God. Oh, dude, don't be <laughs> there. Uh, I will, uh, uh, bankers. Yeah, you guys are well dressed ones too. So, um, for me, I could go make a lot of money. Yahoo offer all this stuff. Yahoo offered me a hundred thousand, right? I'm two years out of college. I'm not worth a hundred thousand. Yahoo's a fucking awesome place. I would die to work at Yahoo, but it's not right for me. It wasn't what I wanted. And so you guys got to figure out what is it really you want to get out of your jobs, and whatever it is. If it's man consulting, if it's Google. I was rejected twice from there. Uh, one day, Trevor, I'll get there. Um, <laughs> I'll be there to stop you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, that's fucked up. Uh, invite me over for lunch. I work down the street. We're in Mountain View. I know. All right, we'll do this. Um, and so for me, this is, this is a very promising opportunity that will help a lot of people. And that's why I'm, I'm going to do this, right? Because I could do a lot of other things that will make me a lot more money. But to me, it's about I'm getting something out of this, and I think it will help a lot of people. Like, could I do more conferences that will gross 80000 I could do one every other month. I could make $200,000 this year. Like, okay, cool, but it's a freaking conference. I should just be a wedding planner then. <laughs> like, and the conference is fun, it's enjoyable, and I like doing that stuff. But I want to find something that has a scale, that will help a lot of people, and I'm excited to drive to work every morning. Uh, a few more things. Can I have, like, come over Is it cool? Is this boring? Uh, so takeaway, is there anything else I wanted to talk about? Uh, calling customers, good idea on calling customers. Uh, thanks for coming. Okay, so <laughs> takeaways. What are you supposed to learn from what I've just babbled on for a few minutes? Uh, start now. Don't, if you want to be an accountant, that's cool. Go do accounting. Go get involved in a club and be their treasurer. Go do something, whatever it is you're interested in. Try out a lot of different things. Penis? I don't know what. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get the funny part. On next time, I'll get you ready for the joke. I'll be like, the joke's coming. And then you guys laugh. So do something. I don't care what it is, but start now. Don't be like, oh, whatever. It's cool. If you want to be successful at the end, you can't wait and you can't do what everybody else is doing. Uh, meaning and passion, ambition. God, these are like shitty buzzwords. <laughs> so the people, I'm, uh, for the community next, I'm looking for someone to run the next one, right? And I've, I've done Facebook flyers on, uh, at Berkeley. Did anybody see these? Uh, so, that's too much. So, Community Next, I'm looking for someone to run it. Um, and a few people have actually called me, right? So, you could just apply like I've asked you to. Or you could just be like, screw it, I'm going to call. So, I put up a job thing, right? Here's a job, fun director. It's called, it's the director of fun. And you could just email me your, dorm, your boring resume, or you could call me and be like, hey, I'm really pumped about this. So, it doesn't matter about this job, but anything you're possibly interested in, go for it. Don't wait. When you guys do that, it reflects a lot on yourself. Like, if you come up to Mr. Man tonight and you're like, I'm not bad old. Okay, Harold. So when you go up to, when you go up to H Dog, uh, you know, you're going to be like, Harold, I'm excited. I really want to learn. I'm not sure if consulting is right for me or not. Why should I do this? But I'd love to learn more from you. Let me take you out for coffee. Let me come to your office. Let me do a practice, a practice thing with you. That's the thing that this guy's going to be like, dude, that person, maybe not the best looking, but I like you. <laughs> like, that guy's going to be sweet. And that, or girl. Quality. Um, so, and that comes back to persistence. Just don't give up. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, lastly, lastly uh, meet people. So, one of the sweetest things about college is that you can go up to any professor, Sarah, Larry, uh, those guys, his bosses, his bosses, bosses. They'll meet you because you're in college and you're interested and you're like, oh, I want to learn new things. Um, so, go to people you're interested in. If you want to be an accountant, go find account local accounting firms or even KPMG or Deloitte. Look on the alumni. Go meet the people. People will totally meet you. And which is no one takes advantage until like after the graduate. Like, Man, I could have done that. Don't wait. Go meet people. Uh, so the last takeaways that I'm going to do, I'm hiring. I'm hiring. So, sorry about the diagram. The thing that I'm looking for is for Community Next, I need someone to help put on more events that are fun. So the requirements that I have, it's uh, really simple. Really simple. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm pretty good. So you have to kick ass. Uh, I'm not looking for someone who just does what I say. That's always nice, but I want someone who goes a little bit above that, as well as someone who likes to have a good time. And so for Mint, Mint is a funded Series A company. We have a lot of money. We're looking for some interns to help us with marketing. So if you don't know what marketing is, I don't even know what it is. I pretend. Uh, but if you're interested in pretending with me, uh, 
I'd love to talk to you about it. So Mint is, I think it's going to be very exciting. It's, you get a chance to be a part of something from the beginning. You get to stop just doing club stuff and boring stuff. No offense. But I mean, you get to do something different. Because I think what happens in college is you kind of go through this funnel that everyone else is going through. And the people who succeed are kind of like, like Jared who might leave school and try something new. Because otherwise you're going to be just like everyone else. So Mint, come talk to me about it. There's an email list. Sign up. Shan, you got it? Thanks, homegirl. Uh, so for Mint, or if you want to meet a lot of people. So if you want to meet VC people, venture capitalists, entrepreneurs, lawyers, a lot of really interesting people, the director of fund for E27 is paid, both jobs are paid, uh, is a good opportunity during the school year to meet new people as well. You'll have a summer internship on both things. Uh, both are in Mountain View, Bay Area. Thank you for your time. Do you want to do one question? Oh, yes. So uh, you said you did a lot of project management for Facebook. Did yes. you just wake up one morning and start doing that stuff? Or no, so I mean, that's something that I just, I love doing. So I mean, Ninja Card, website. From inception to final product, community next website. From inception to final product, um, my even OK door. Like how, like, what are the objectives of your website? A product manager basically is responsible for to make it happen. That's the line. Like, get shit done. That's your. That's my title. Uh, so like, how should this look? How should it function? Why are things in certain places? What is the objective of what you're doing? And so it's just something that I've always been doing, and it made sense that they're like. You get to hang out and look at the website you're playing around all day on. Uh, you get to make cool things, and you're going to get paid for this with all these great perks. Okay, sweet. Sign me up. Cool. Oh, okay. Any other questions? Okay. So come talk to me afterwards if you're interested in kicking ass and having fun, and you want an internship for the summer, and starting probably right now. Thank you.